I guess in this video I am going to discuss what the difference between cluster and none cluster index in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So at here the first uh, I am going to show you the table that I am going to use. So at here let's write uh, select uh, star from. So we to select tab table. So at here this is the contents inside tab table. Now here. So initially tab table there are no any indexes. So at here this table that I selected because it has 751 rows. Now here after first time going to create a cluster and non cluster index. So let's click on cluster. Now here after let's give a meaningful name of the cluster index. So I'm going to give at here AD1. Now here after applying cluster index on employee ID. So you can select multiple options, multiple columns. Now here after let's click on OK. So there is a one cluster index created with the name AD. Now here after I am going to create a new none cluster index. So going to give add here name AD1 and applying or none cluster index on employee ID. Click on OK. Now OK. So there are two index created at here AD and AD1. So this is cluster and here this is none unique none cluster index. Now here after the next two thing is so uh, at here let's write to select. So select a star from so the table name tab now here after let's use with now here with and going to use index so first going to use add here ad now here after let's use where clause so going to do some filter by using where clause so add here employee id you can find so giving add here employee id 900 now here after let's copy this and here paste it down so add here ad1 is the cluster index now going to give add here ad so ad is the cluster and ad1 is the non cluster index here now suppose if you execute to this two query Okay, I'm going to execute on this two query. Now here after, so here you can find, let's read the masses. So both add here, it's returning two not one row affected. So both returning the same output. Now here after the next thing is, so add here, I'm going to enable or state stay this six io on now if you execute to this query so add here a statistics io on now here after let's execute this two query once again now here after go to masses so by uh, applying add here a statistics io on so you can get to this all information. Previously that are only displaying here. Do not want rows affected here. So add here the first is query output for cluster index and this for none cluster index. So you can or check at here logical rates only 5. And here you can find logical rate for not 5. That means it read lesser data and here by using non cluster index so it or read or for not for data so that means so uh, if uh, uh, logical rates are higher so it take a uh, uh, more time to search the result and here a uh, more time to search the result so definitely performance gonna decrease by using non cluster index so this is the one big difference so at here or cluster index takes logical read lesser 
or then learn cluster logical reads. Now here after or this or two query selected. Now here after you can go or display estimate execution plan. So the second difference is so by using cluster index query cost only seven percent and here query cost ninety three percent. So there are so many or different type of steps happening with non cluster index. So see at here this is the nested load. So it's uh, doing at here inner chain here after it divide values into two part lookup and here index six that is non cluster. So it takes five percent and here this is ninety four percent. But it directly with cluster index it take hundred percent. So at here with uh, or cluster index is scanning a particular range of rows for so it to scanning particular a special range of rows but if you go at here non cluster so scanning a particular range of rows on non cluster so only or uh, that to non cluster here you can find and here this is a uh, use of supplied clustering key lookup on a table that has a cluster index so if you use add here non cluster index, so automatically there is a one step that is created key lookup. So because of this, it will degrade the performance of searching of any values. So this is the second difference. Now here after, so if you go add here right click new index, so here you can find add here non cluster cluster index that is disabled. So if you so a cluster index only one time you can create only one cluster index you can create on the table but at your non cluster index you can create many so this is the third difference so cluster index only one non cluster index at your many now here after the fourth important difference is so first i am going to delete at your on this non cluster index part so this is deleted successfully now here after let's uh, or right click and here edit 200 rows now if i try to insert the rows at your top so i'm going to insert at your 55 not the uh, only employee id going to insert now here so 55 that is inserted now if i execute this query so see at here automatically it come at the ascending order format so 21 is the lesser 33 55 now you can check at here also so 21 33 55 because it is the cluster tabs so that means the width when you are using cluster index so it to uh, sort the values so I applied cluster index on employee ID. Now here after I'm going to delete this one and here creating one new non cluster index. Now let's give add here ID one and here employee ID OK. Now no need to change this is ascending you can do modification also here you can do ascending or descending. Now let's click on OK. So there is a non cluster index that is created. Now suppose if I am oh, going to execute, OK, let's execute this query. So this is the value. Now here after, let's uh, right click, edit 200 rows. So suppose if I insert add here at this point some values like uh, 66, OK, I'm going to do any sorting not not inserting any other values now if i execute to this so see at here or 66 not automatically it come because at here it to 81 is the selected at here non cluster index so at here let's uh, 66 is not displaying now here execute this query now I scroll down so 66 that i inserted at the last position so that means when you are using non cluster index, so there is no any uh, 
there is no any operation doing like uh, sorting operation doing at here so this is the fourth difference between cluster and non cluster index so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so if you know any other difference so leave your comment so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so thanks for watching see you next week thank you